a bit of relief because you know it's like it's a lot of work just to get back into that spot um, but also just a, a lot of gratitude I think you know we said it from the start of the year we we knew going in that we weren't um, you know the favorite to win the championship this year but we thought we could do it and we believed in ourselves and so um, you know we don't know if we will advance but we know we can so so I think that's we just feel really grateful to be here and we're gonna give it everything we got <laughs> mostly just to start hitting the ball in bounds I think we uh, we were a little too juiced and that kind of a little more we need to improve on that. We've, we were a little bit like that in the previous round, so yeah, we got to take the court a little bit more, more uh, poised. Alex? Hi, Dan. Uh, you, get, you talked a lot about serve receive being a, a big part of this match. How do you think you guys did in that department today? Uh, not our best serve receive game, but we hung in there, and I do think we won the serve pass battle, so, uh, so good, not great. Oh, yeah, sorry. I couldn't hear you there. There's a little bit of background noise here. Um, Dan, how did you, um, you know, you, you, you had talked uh, yesterday about how you thought that uh, that there were some facets of Kansas that you thought y'all would be able to exploit and take advantage of. I guess now that the match is over, what did you think that those were and how did you do in that, in those various areas? Well, I think um, from the service line, not many teams had really gone after exclusively gone after zone one and the libero we started out that way but then she kind of settled in at the end so we had to switch our serving tactic but i think it worked for first two sets um and then we just you know the way we line up our block too we thought we could do a few things to, to make them uncomfortable there um but yeah those two were the main things Uh, Coach, after a bit of a slow start in the uh, first set, what did you tell your team in the timeout that caused you guys to come out so hot afterwards and sort of take complete advantage of the uh, set? Yeah, we, we were just making a lot of attacking errors. I think we had a service there too, so we gave them a lot of easy points. So it was just mostly just to keep the ball in play. Alex? Yeah, she, um, since you were on last year's team, last year you guys were, were the unseeded team knocking off the three seed. Now you're kind of in the reverse position. What has it been like on this run to kind of be a favorite instead of the underdog? Has that changed, I guess, the mindset at all? I mean, yes and no. I think there's always added confidence with getting a higher seed, but also I think we try to play with an underdog mentality and kind of playing with a chip on our shoulder. And I think that helps us a little bit more than just being overconfident like this should be. Yeah, we had uh, talked with uh, Coach Fisher uh, yesterday about, uh, about Kansas's outside hitters and how it, and how impressive they were. As players, you know, who were out there, how, I guess what sort of challenge did they present and how, and how do you all feel like you did against them? Um, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, they're good hitters and they were really comfortable with some weird plays and weird situations and they were finding creative ways to score. Um, but I think we lined up pretty well. And um, <laughs> Um, like Fish said, I think, you know, we don't know if we will, but we know we can. And so that's kind of the uh, mindset we're going into. I think we're confident. I think we're, we know we deserve to be here. We work to be here. Um, we're taking it one day at a time, you know, and enjoying these moments together and just staying present. Um, I think we capitalized on our balance, you know, I think um, it's hard for teams to stop us because in any moment, any one of us can go off. 
at any moment, anyone, any one of us can get a kill, you know? Um, and I think that helps us out because when we feel free, like if I'm not getting the job done, I know my teammates can't, you know? And so we're kind of sharing the burden, sharing the weight that way. Um, and I think it makes us a scary time. I think she said it perfectly. Dominic? Uh, yeah, I wanted to know what your um, opinions were on the crowd today. I know it's a 1 p.m. Thursday game, so a bit weird, but how would you make of their uh, uh, how would you make of their importance to the game today? Just how you think of the crowd? Oh, I think it's always good playing at home. You know, you can feel the love, and like even when we're not down, like I feel like our crowd lifts us up. So I think it's really good that we're back here on Saturday, and I hope it's going to be a bigger crowd, and they're just going to continue to feed, feed us energy. Yeah, we, we talked a little bit about yesterday. I was just wondering, uh, for any of the players, how did it feel kind of adjusting from going from playing in the peak to playing in the fits for, for a, a playoff caliber game? Um, I mean, we practice in the field house every day, so it just feels like we're playing at home. And I think when we were in the peak, like, we are really good on the road as well, too. So once again, like, we're up for the challenge, and we made it feel like home, even though it wasn't our home. So... Yeah, we, we had talked a little bit earlier about um, about that uh, the timeout in the first set when Kansas was up eight to three. Uh, you all called a timeout. I think Kansas had gotten within it was like twenty to uh, do sixteen there in the third set. What was what message was passed along to uh, to you guys in that time? Um, yeah, and what do you remember the overall uh, message and tone of that final timeout being like? You said the final. Uh, yeah, the the uh, final time out there in the third set. Um, <laughs> uh, I think we we know that Kansas is a good team, and I think we kind of let them off the hook a couple times. Um, so that was kind of the message with like it's not over, like a lead this big, like we can't give it up, and um, just continuing to put pressure on them. <laughs> 